The Dragon Ball Fighters update is still fresh out and brand new. A lot of characters were changed, most received buffs, although some were unwarranted, and yet some were just downright perfect. Most characters came out on top, so much so that I put together a top 10 list of characters that came out as winners. But today's characters are not so lucky as we only have a short list of 6 characters who lost the patch. Starting with number 6. Gotenks was arguably the best character in season 3. During the season 3 patch, he got ridiculous buffs in the form of damage and brand new rejumps, achieved by being able to cancel his specials into each other. At one point, he had a very crazy bug that allowed his EX Miracle Punch to do insane amounts of damage, something Gotenks mains had never seen before. And quite frankly on paper, the new patch has made this character's damage lackluster once more. He's still insane, but just dialed back a little, and let it be known, he's actually his own assist now due to the system's new mechanics with the Z change. So even though he lost his damage, he became a very good support character as a point somehow. I'm recording this after the community found out that Gotenks is actually literally breaking the game, and I really didn't even want to take the segment out. So I'm just going to show you guys what Gotenks is doing, and I'm still going to add him as the sixth spot. I know it's stupid, but I just... Who knew this would happen? <laughs> it's a sad day for Jiren fans. Not because he got nerfed, but because a whole community lost something. They lost a try. No! No! In all honesty, this whole section is just dedicated to Dr. Doya and his community. Jiren in the Season 3 patch received a serious buff to his kit, allowing him to counter literally anything with his 214S counter, and when I say anything that was not a super, I mean it. Dragon Rush and Command Grabs were not safe against this character, and alas, we found out that during this patch, it was a bug the whole time. And with that, Jiren lost his ability to be stupid, and Dato Doya lost a feature. It's not a bug, it's a feature! Inadvertent nerf strike again. Android 17 received a tweak to his jumping medium attack which really killed his rejump potential, which sadly killed his ability to have way better meter gain. For those of you who don't know, post patch 17 had some of the best meter gain in the game when doing combos, and the ability to rejump allowed him to constantly have bar, if you knew the correct routes of course. But seeing from Twitter, even though they made rejumps easier, 17 lost his ability to, and sadly his meter gain has gone with it. This list may be too early to tell if anything different will help 17 with this problem, but only time will tell. Is it better to have lost than to have gained at all? Because Cooler's biggest problem has always been the ability to mix and to confirm off of his own kit. His only buffs in this patch were buffs to his normals that were already pretty good and was a common theme of the patch regardless. His major buff was to his genocidal uppercut being able to go through all the assists now, but all in all, that still leaves Cooler in the same position he was in before, mixless. Some characters got more love than they should have, and some got the short end of the stick, and Cooler just falls in with the latter. Overall, Master Roshi can be a very good character, it just takes a lot to actually get good with him. And to be honest, he came away with more buffs than nerfs. It just turns out they nerfed one of the best things about him when it comes to his kit. And that's his B assist. When Roshi came out, he easily had one of the best B assists in the game. So much so that it began to cause a lot of discourse in the community, which ultimately led to it being nerfed during the midway point of Season 3. And in doing so, they accidentally made it a little better. So which brings us now to Master Roshi's B assist in this patch, which is now almost unusable. His patch notes say they shorten the time in which the move is invincible, and by doing so it seems they murdered the assist entirely, because it has just about no armor now and can for sure be mashed through. Between the two Broly's in the game, the super version seems to be the lesser favorite of the two. DBS Broly is a lab monster's dream, and for the most part, a pro player's nightmare. 
This character since he came out has been at the short end of the stick when it comes to frame data and most DBS Brody's players would tell you that an improvement to his frame data would be the perfect buff. But sadly he only came away with minor tweaks to his moveset and quite possibly an inadvertent nerf to his 2H which was already a huge problem. And if this is the game's final huge patch, well I have to say sorry DBS Broly mains, your character may never see top tier like his Z Broly counterpart.